Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit. I'm very sore, not old, I'm sore. <laughs> in dire need of a change and when that happens it usually affects the hair <laughs> I am thinking because I think all of this is my natural hair color now I've only been like doing highlights but I haven't done a solid color for Lighter a very color. long time huh Lighter color. well I want to do that but I'm saying like I haven't done any solid full hair coloring in a very long time so now I'm thinking Maybe if I dye the whole thing a solid but very light color where it has a little bleaching in it to She's lighten it. She's consulting with her hairdresser. I'm <laughs> consulting with my hairdresser. See, I was just telling him I really don't mind even paying $200 for it to get done if they wouldn't waste six hours of my life and they would actually do something. Because every time I go, like I would get highlights and when they were done, I would have been there for like six, seven hours and I look in the mirror and I'm like, what, what, what happened? What did you guys do? Did you, did you do anything? <laughs> and then I get home and to make it worse, he was calling me <laughs> to make it worse he'll be like didn't you go get your hair done what were you doing for like seven hours i was getting my damn hair done <laughs> he's like well, i don't see anything <laughs> so that kind of killed me a little so i became your hairdresser so he be that's how he became my hairdresser because i was like you know what if you screw up i won't be mad but because they're screwing up or not doing it properly or i don't know what's happening and i'm paying 200 dollars, it's like it's aggravating so, sitting through highlights drives me nuts, even when he does it, even though he's super fast. Like, you're, you're fast compared to, like, a lot of people, but I still don't have the patience. So, I'm thinking to do it all one color and see what happens. I'm kind of nervous because I did this in the past and it did not go well. But, in my defense, I was dyeing my hair black, like, all the time. So, obviously, you can't really lighten your hair from black without stripping it and all that. But, I'm really convinced this is all my natural hair. So, we're going to go to Sally's. Pick out a color, hope for the best. <laughs> Regardless of how it turns out, we'll show you guys. You can make fun of me if it comes out bad. Then I'll be in like dire need of a dresser, hairdresser, and I'll look for one or we'll fix it by going black. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll figure something out. <laughs> this is our, how many times have we tried to Three come times here? Three times. Three times. All right, the days he decides, I don't know, did they see you go? Probably, okay. Every time he passes by, it's open, and he's like, we gotta go there, we gotta go there. Every time he pulls in to go there, it is closed. Tuesday, who closes on Tuesday? Did you just realize it was Tuesday because of the it's, sign? Yeah, it says, what? <laughs> we don't even know what day of the week it is, but whatever. They're closed on Tuesdays, remember that, babe. Jeez. Apparently they're closed every time we try coming. Your bike will have to wait. I don't care, I don't ride a bike. <laughs> She fell asleep with her foot up. <laughs> so we got home, Lila fell asleep in the car, so I'm gonna do a really quick upper body session. It's my time of the month and I ate, so my belly's big and bloated and not feeling my best. But honestly, the one thing I try to do every time on my period is work out. I always tell people, like people always ask me, should I take the week off because my period is coming? And I'm like, what? It makes you feel so much worse. Like if I'm not active during my period, I'm like in a ball in the bed. But if I'm active, like I barely feel anything. So even though everything hurts right now and I really don't want to do this, I know it's only going to help. So a little bit of cardio and then biceps, maybe shoulders. Depends how I feel. <laughs>
is going lower and lower. It's not as cool as to go and do this <laughs> destroy my hair god fingers crossed that this is not going to come out horrible this is all virgin hair and i asked them can i do it like without bleaching like lighten the whole thing they're like yeah because it's virgin hair they're just not sure how the highlights will look i'm like i don't care if it creates an ombre i just don't want to become like an orange haired crazy person uh, but they helped guide me i guess the dye had ended well i'll just show you guys when i go upstairs i'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you anyway uh, so let's go do that now <laughs> So I bought a new wax warmer. I'm still whispering while I'm still asleep because unfortunately, and it makes sense that wax is solid when it's cold, but it's not completely like, what is the word? It still moves through time, you know? So like if you lay it sideways, it will eventually. And I sloppily put my last warmer away on top of something which fell over and all my wax spilled all over the bottom of this. Now, if you know, wax is very hard to clean. You can't just wipe it away. It doesn't work that way. Um, so a lot of things are, I don't even want to go through there actually. <laughs> so it's on the, the bottom of this. So like even this is stuck to it. You see that? Everything has to be thrown away because it's it takes a lot of oil to clean up wax. I'm just gonna close it and not look at it for a while. <laughs> We're just gonna have to buy a new fixture, babe. <laughs> I'm just gonna replace it just so I don't have to clean that up. That's terrible. Um, but anyways, we bought a new one. I needed it. Now, <clears throat> um, this is the one I always get 
they always um, provide like a free wax when you buy the warmer. It's actually a really pretty good deal. It was $40. The first time I bought it, it was $30, which was an even better deal. And it came with wax strips, free wax strips. Maybe they're inside here actually, mm -hmm. right? I don't know, but that's the one I always use. I've used it for years. I wax myself because the anticipation of waiting for someone to pull the strip off drives me insane. I'd rather be in full control over it. So I've done everything myself. Um, now to the hair. They told me to get something ending with an A to keep out yellow and turning into a carrot. <laughs> yellow and orange um, by, by getting ash. Um, I really don't know. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. This is light. It's light, what is it? Medium ash blonde, I guess. So we'll see what happens. I mean, it can't get any worse, right? Because it looks pretty shitty right now anyways. <laughs> anyways, I have a backup dark brown if anything happens. We'll just be dark brown <laughs> so i'm doing two ounce developer this is the 30 to lighten um and then two ounce of whatever comes in here which is only two ounces <laughs> oh i already did the bow here we go guys i'm moving my white carpet i don't know what's gonna happen to it i'm gonna start the tips because I don't know, they just had to do it. <laughs> use gloves, guys. Use gloves. <laughs> I never use gloves. This is not a hair tutorial, so I don't really care what you guys think <laughs> if I'm doing it wrong or that's not professional of you. I'm no hairdresser. We're not asking. <laughs> We're just doing it. I'm just doing it. have it we were trying to conserve daylight just to show it uh, not sure how I feel about it I kind of I like I like it and I don't I don't know it's odd it's kind of like my daughter's hair look at my daughter's hair oh you see kind of matches my hair actually turns this color in the Sun when it's natural but uh, because I didn't have my hair natural for I don't know how long like virgin hair for a very long time um, I was actually surprised. I'm like, oh my goodness, it's actually virgin hair, but it hasn't really seen the sun. Um, so that's why it didn't lighten up, but that's kind of how it looks. You see, it has like still because of my highlights, like there's some lighter pieces, which I do like that because I hate the one solid tone look. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Feels really soft and healthy. <laughs> they always say that your hair actually feels and is healthier when you get rid of blonde, but yeah whatever look at my nice plant <laughs> I saw it and I had to have it right away he's like yeah we'll think about it I'm like no we're getting it I love it it's so cute it's a, I don't, it's a tree right bonsai tree. bonsai tree I guess they're not really high maintenance they don't need too much water but there is like a liquid food for a plant I don't know what that is. I have to Google it and probably buy it on Amazon or something because they didn't have it at the store that you're supposed to feed it every two weeks. High maintenance, but it's pretty, so why not? I love it. <laughs> and we found a home for it as soon as we walked in. Well, he's like, what about here? I'm like, okay, we don't do anything with that space anyways. It needs an accent plant and one this powerful. I love it. 
I don't know. See, it has like this cool stone. I like the stone of the other one though, right? It was like a gray and it had like, it looked like marble, but we liked this gray thing. And the other one was all white. You like it? More real plants. We also got an aloe vera plant. Let me show it to you. This is our aloe vera plant. I don't like the pot at all, but that we can change. That broke in the cart and it smells like death. Which I don't even know why because I used to have a plant that I used to uh, keep and just cut off little pieces and use it on my face when I had really bad acne and it didn't smell at all. I remember not smelling, I just didn't like the stickiness of it and the gel feel of it, but it didn't smell. This one I made him smell and he's like, holy, I can't even describe it, it just smells terrible. Um, but I like, like, I wanted to cut a little piece off and use it on her toe because she got like a bite, but I don't know, that smell though. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know if it's a different type of aloe vera maybe, because it's spiky too, and it hurts. So, we'll see, I don't know. But those are our plants. <laughs> So it is the second day. Um, I'm doing my split. So, uh, okay, I started to do uh, biceps, shoulders, and sometimes back all in one day, um, just to kind of get it over with and make sure I get it in that week. Um, but during my, you know, time of the month, I told you guys I like to keep active every day because it uh, minimizes period symptoms. It makes you feel better. It keeps your tummy flatter, and if it's flatter, you're less like. I don't feel like doing anything, you know, you have more energy when you're not so bloated and retaining water and icky. So, we're doing shoulders today um, with cardio. Cardio, I feel like it just really works well for the time of the month. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't do very much. I know everyone's going to ask. I probably do 300 reps and that sounds like a lot, but it's really not. It's like that. <laughs> 300 reps of, of jump rope, did I not say that? Wow, I'm assuming you guys are already in my head, you know what I'm talking about. 300 reps of jump rope, which is my cardio. Your hair. Huh? Your hair. My hair, what do you guys think of my hair? He likes it, I'm starting to like it. It's bringing out my eye color, because I have green and red in my eyes. Um, ooh, <laughs> up in personal. <laughs> Uh, can you even see my eye color from there? I think because of the light, right? I look creepy. <laughs> so it brings out my eye color, I feel like, when the sun hits me. <clears throat> but it has like my, my highlights coming through it, which is kind of cool. And then I was telling him, what if we add a couple highlights in there? Like it would look really nice, I think. I don't know. I'm going to have it like this for a little longer and see if I do want to add the highlights or not. But I like it. It's a nice change. It's different. I'm either highlights or dark. So this is different for me, but I like it. <laughs>
And now if I'm finished here, this band, let me tell you, does more damage, I feel. <laughs> it's a good workout though, you should give it a shot. <clears throat> So that is it for my workout. It was good. I'm actually really tired, but it was really good. Unfortunately, I have to share something with you guys that saddens me. Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm very sore, not old, I'm sore. <laughs> I was very sore. I had an intense leg day. Like it was super intense. Didn't record it, but I mostly did a lot of squats, like a lot of squats. And now I'm paying for it. I can't even climb my stairs without looking crazy. Remember those mini muffins I told you guys about? And uh, they were eight grams of protein. Freaking awesome. Well, Aldi changed. Well, not Aldi themselves. Whoever makes their the muffins changed the ingredients. They went from eight grams. See proof. This was eight grams at one point to a wah wah, two grams, <laughs> very sad. Uh, that sucks, like I don't really see myself eating them anymore. <laughs> Does protein seriously stop you? Does it, would it stop you too? Yes. Like you kind of lose your motivation to eat it, right? It was a good source of protein. Did they change the ingredient? Huh? It was way too sore, I know. Yeah, I don't even know what soda means. What does soda mean? Not literally soda, right? Something else? I mean, I would think, you know, they didn't just pour soda in it. <laughs> like, I would hope not. Uh, but yeah, they literally, like, it used to say whey, and now it says soda as their first ingredient. Remember how I told you guys, uh, the first ingredient is the most of what's in that product, and the last ingredient is what's least in there. That's how you know how much food, like what is prioritized in the thing you're eating. Um, so yeah, they switched that around. Now it's higher calorie too. They added 30 extra calories and took away protein. Huh? They added fat. And they added a gram of fat. Well, yeah, because that comes from calories. So, I mean, now he bought it, but we're probably not gonna eat it. Just wanted to share with, that with you guys in case you guys did go and buy them because they were in like good food finds. In case you guys go and buy them and are like, why now you lied? It's only two grams. Yeah, now it is. Sucks, I know. Anyways, we're gonna end the vlog here. However, stay tuned for Friday's vlog. I'm going to do a jean haul. Um, how I buy my jeans, how I get the best fitting jeans because fall is coming. Um, I don't even know summer left a long time ago for us because I haven't had good weather in a while. <laughs> but I'm moving now to jeans because it's too cold to be in shorts I find myself freezing they're they're all amazing jeans one pair I don't care for but hubby made me buy because he's like it is never bad to have one black pair of pants <laughs> and I'm like but I don't wear black they're still cute cute they're just my least favorite um, but that one will be coming I'm gonna give you all my tips on how to shop for jeans this is coming from a girl who hated jean shopping like I absolutely hated it I was Remember when you used to take me jean shopping? It was hell. You'd be like, those look good. I'm like, no, no, everything looks like shit. And I would get so mad because they squished your butt. They made it look deformed. It was all these weird things. I'm gonna tell you exactly why and what to look for in that vlog. So anyways, if you enjoyed the vlog, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications. And until Friday, guys, bye.